Hard work led to the highlights for Pittsburgh's Aaron Donald last season, and it ultimately earned him plenty of hardware, including the Outland Trophy as the nation's best interior lineman. Who will follow, though, in the big man's footsteps in 2014? Ray Crawford here with our college football analyst Doug Chapman. And Doug, on Thursday, the Outland Trophy released their watch list that included 64 players. We want to know your top contenders. Who are your three favorites? Yeah, Aaron Donald won it last year, but I'm looking on the offensive side of the ball this year. For my winner, number three on my list is Florida State tackle Cameron Irving. Moved to the offensive side of the ball in 2012, which is not easy to do. They put him out at tackle. All he has to do is block for the best football player in college football, Jameis Winston. Very athletic, probably the most athletic guy of this bunch. First round potential written all over. Number two on my list is Cedric Abuhi from Texas A&M. They have moved him from right tackle to left tackle to take the place of Jake Matthews. If you can block for Johnny Manziel and keep him upright, the most unpredictable, phenomenal football player in college football, you can block for anybody. Another athletic player. Watch for his name to be called early in the first round. But the guy I like the most, Reese Dismukes center for Auburn. That offensive machine came out last year. 328 yards rushing per game. Has great feet. He's strong and he plays very, very powerful at the point of contact against some of the best players in college football in that SEC conference. Dismukes, one of 19 players in the SEC on the watch list this year. Uh, who could be a dark horse to win the outline? And my dark horse is a guy that's very high on a lot of people's list. Oregon center, Ronis Grassu. He's a player that is very, very solid. They play that spread attack out there at Oregon, but the problem I watch when you watch film versus Stanford and UCLA versus more athletic players, he struggles a bit dealing with a lot of twists and stunts, but he'll get better at that. He'll be an early high round draft pick as well, but a lot of people like him a lot, but he's my dark horse guy. He's one of three Oregon Ducks on the watch list. All right, Doug, thanks very much. You know, I think all these players would gladly give away the individual hardware to hold up the new college football playoff trophy. That trophy will be unveiled for the first time Monday at 11 o'clock Eastern, and you can see it live here on CampusInsiders.com.